Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, it's all about winches. Now, if you've been following along the channel, you'll know we recently completed the Cape. We took the, the big blue up to Cape York. If you haven't seen those two videos, there are two big Cape trip videos that stacks and stacks of time whenever went into those suckers and hopefully you enjoy them. If you haven't seen them, head on over to the channel and check them out. Part one is a lot of detail. And part two, you get to see this guy go through all the tough stuff, the old telly, all of the box and dice. Now. Why is this relevant? That is because for the last little while, we've been running the Ultra Winch Mark II. This is their PDX series, and this guy is the nine and a half thousand pound. Now we gave this thing an unbelievable workout up the old tele track. I've been using it a, a bits and pieces, not tons and tons, but on the old tele track, this thing got a thorough workout. If you watch in part two of the Cape Trip series, you'll see where we got crazy stuck at Logan's Creek. If anyone talks about doing the old, old Telly track and they go Nolan's is the hardest or any of that stuff. I don't know. They had an easier run through Logan's than we did because we got horridly stuck, horridly stuck. And this guy was put through the absolute ringer. Now, even with double line pulls and what have you on the nine and a half thousand, we couldn't get unstuck and we had to resort to using the old snatch and some brute force via a patrol. So in the winch's defense, it was insane. And we even pulled a tree down with this thing, but we still couldn't get unstuck. So when I got back, I was like, hmm, let me do some investigation. I'd pulled the rope out, hence it's sitting over here to give it a good clean. And while it was out, I figured well worth checking out the upgraded version two generations earlier. So it has to be better. Keen to check it out. Also, also my dog checked it out, as you can see. Also wanted to go to the 12,000 pounds. So the big boy compared to the nine and a half that was in the D-Max previously. So in this video, we're gonna unbox this guy. We're going to pull our front bar off so we can expose the nine and a half thousand. We'll pull that out. We'll get it on the bench, we'll unbox this, we'll get that on the bench, and we'll have a look at the differences. Sorry to butt in just for one second. If you are in the market for a new winch, and you're interested in the Ultra Winch, good news, we've been able to wrangle a bit of a discount for you guys. So head on down to the video description, there'll be a link. You've got to use that link with my code. So if you use those two together, bit of a discount, more bucks in your pocket. So that's great. So if you're interested, check it out. Other than that, let's get back to the video. Right, so here we go. Here's Mark II and here is Mark IV, the nine and a half and the 12 and a half. If we have a look at the winches themselves, pretty similar. There's a couple of differences I can spot straight away in comparison to the Mark II. We do have some new metal labels, which is cool because there was a metal one here, but these, this one here in particular, you can see there. So it's still there, pretty vanity stuff, right? But sort of peeling away. I remember having to stick that guy down. This guy, is a new metal one and it, it is solid as, it's not going anywhere, so that's pretty cool. We do have a couple of mounting points now, so we've got, that's for our control box, which we'll have a look at in a sec, but it looks like we can either mount it on top there, which we'll be doing, similar to what was on the Mark II in our mounting position, or you've got this one as well. So if you are mounting it that way, depending on your bar, you can then have it on the top, as it were. So a couple of options there, which is cool. As far as the rope goes, you get 25 meters worth on here, which is a good length, and 10 mil Dyneema rated at something like 16,000 or something pounds, which is pretty awesome. On the back, if we swivel down, we still get our breather tubes here, which is great. That came in handy definitely on the back of the nine and a half thousand. So great to see that's been retained. Now, if we come over to all the bits and bobs you get, there's some cool stuff in here compared to what you got with Mark II over there. So if we have a look through it, our control box overall, this guy's had a few upgrades. So it's a better quality solenoid in there, but also check this little guy out. So just comparing to the older version on the Mark II, we it sat on the top here, right? And we had a little thumb section in here which I really liked, I thought that was good. The downside with this though, it's the old sort of style connector. From where it sat in the D-Max, obviously they didn't do this just for me, right? But it suits me perfect because with the D-Max, you have this crossbar sitting across here and then there's the bottom section of it underneath there. So to be able to get that top winch controller in, was super difficult. And I reckon I would have done more damage to the old hands than the actual recovery. So I used the I used the remote every single time, which worked fine. I was just always a little iffy with it. I even carried spare batteries for the remote. So I wanted ideally a way to be able to plug it in. I was gonna do some chopping, but then I spotted that it connects in from the side now, which is great. And you've got these new fancy connectors. So these are pretty cool and they look like they're just like a push lock one. So you just sort of line it up and then 
click and it goes. How good's that? And it's locked in. And then you can sort of screw that down and then to undo it you just pull, I'll show you on this one probably easier, no. And you just basically swigger it the other way and out she comes. How good's that? I think that's really, really cool. Well done guys. And you get this little, little sort of double adapter. So you can run a couple of things at the same time. So we have uh, all the new connectors and everything. We've got an upgraded little handpiece, which is quite cool, quite cool. Same remote by the looks, but that works really well. The cool thing I liked with this is, I don't know if you can see the, the light flashing there, but it auto turned off. So that flat battery thing wasn't, I actually never had to replace the battery, but it was always a fear of mine. Uh, the other one is we've got an upgraded switch and check it out. It's actually a rocker switch, a momentary switch. How good's that? That may or may not go really well with a certain 3D printed model item that will be on the Video Show Me How shop very soon. So that's awesome. And it looks like because of that, you can kind of have them sort of both plugged in. So you could have that plugged in and then still have a spare one if you needed to you know, have a hand controller and or. So a couple of different options there. So I like that, that's cool. Looks like we do have an upgraded fair lead by the looks of things. I would show you on that bar. I'll show you when I put it back together, but that uh, nice new one looks cool. The thing I did want to point out is the wiring itself. So still nice and thick wiring, but look, it's sheathed the entire way. So the whole thing is shrink wrapped, is sheathed properly. That's awesome. That's really cool to see. The other ones were still good, still shrink wrapped and everything, but to have, to have some abrasion protection all the way, that's really cool. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of the sort of the evolution of the Ultra Winch series, which is which is pretty awesome to see. And I'm glad I'm glad we've gone with this one as well as the uh, the 12,000 pan one. So from here, I need to get our bar ready to go. I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up on the inside just because it's impossible to get to normally, and because it's off, that'll make things nice and easy. And then from here, I need to get this guy bolted up to the front of the D-Max and we'll get all this buttoned back up. Here we go, we are all done, all buttoned up, bar on, looking uh, looking more snazzy than it, than it should, I reckon, after that cape trip. Got some fresh rubbers in on the side, some really nice gap all the way around. Yes, you definitely do need a gap, guys. That is for sure with corrugations and that sort of stuff. That's how you uh, damage your headlights and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, you know all of that. Some fresh rubbers, so it's looking, uh, looking pretty good. And of course, the new winch. So there it is, looking pretty tidy. We've got the new fair lead in there as well. It is a new design, confirm that. You've got these bolt holes, you don't have to flip it over like you did with the Gen 2. So a bit of an upgrade there. I think I definitely need to replace this flip up number plate holder. It's a bit, uh, it's a little, uh, a little worse for wear <laughs> after that cape trip. So we'll get a new one of those. But other than that, it is in and looking fine. So like I mentioned there before, the only other step is to isolate it, but then also to go and give it a full workout, wind it all the way out, and then load it back in under tension like you saw in the Mark II install video. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, guys, if you're looking for a winch and you settle on an ultra winch, use the link in the video description down below, as well as the code. And if you use both of those guys together, you get some bucks off, which is always nice. If this is one of the first you've seen of the old blue class in the video, show me how. Head on back to the channel. There is a stack of videos and build series, as well as those cape trips and all that sort of stuff on the D-Max. I think this is video, I don't know, we're in the 80s. There is an absolute ton of videos and how-tos on this thing. So head on over to the channel, check them out, subscribe and all of that goodness if you haven't already. But other other than that guys, as always, I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.